Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch History Channel, thank you very much for tuning in for a first video on the content of this here bag from Detrum. I hope you'll be able to see that. There was actually a label on the bag, Detrum. And this bag contains a flight stabilizer for RC airplanes. A pretty elaborate flight stabilizer actually. And I'll be doing a couple of videos on this system. By the way, don't tell me that this is an un unboxing. It, this is clearly not a box, right? So this is not, definitely not an unboxing. Yeah, so again, I'll be doing a couple of videos on this system. In this video, we'll take a close look at what we got. And in a next video, I'm gonna tell you how to configure this system. So I'll show you what the steps are to get this system set up for your RC airplane. And we'll do some flying with the system obviously as well. And at the end of the road, we'll uh, do a review of this system. Does it actually work well? I'll have a link to my playlist for this system in the upper right corner if you want to check that out. If you are watching this video at a later date, there might already be more videos on this system in that playlist. Go check it out. So again, this system is from Detrum. This is called the Z3 FPV, which makes you wonder what happened to the Z1 and the Z2. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Yeah, again, this is pretty elaborate, but you'll see in a second. Uh, we'll take everything out of the bag and um, I'll uh, tell you what everything is for and what you can do with it. That's the main premise of this here video. So let's take everything out of this bag. There you go, we end up with three major things. This is the actual flight stabilizer itself. And this over here is basically a power distribution board. So it has a power in and a power out, both XT60s. In case your airplane runs off, uh, for instance, Dean's connectors, you will have to replace these connectors or make adapters. But not only that, it'll provide power for the flight controller, five volt and it will feed information into your flight controller. And that's part of the more elaborate uh, setup of the system. It'll tell the flight controller the voltage and the amp draw of your setup. So that way it'll uh, be able to include that into your OSD. So this flight controller not only stabilizes your airplane, it also adds information to your FV feed if your airplane is in fact an FPV airplane that is. But well, this is called the Z3 FPV. This system is uh, specifically meant for FPV airplanes. I don't think you'd be buying this system for non FPV airplanes. And this third box over here contains the programmer, the setup card. So with this unit, you'll be able to set your flight controller up for different airplanes and different flight modes. And we'll be definitely having a look at this control board in this video. I want to know how good the user interface is, so if it's easy or complicated. And I want to see what kinds of airplanes this, uh, this flight controller supports probably flying wings and deep standard airplanes, four channel airplanes. But maybe if you have a more exotic setup, maybe a flying wing with a rudder or a two motor airplane, I want to see if this flight controller can cope with that. So let's first have a close look at the flight controller itself. And that plastic box revealed a couple of things. The GPS receiver, so that GPS receiver obviously uh, provides uh, the, the flight controller with uh, return to home capabilities, but also it'll uh, enable the flight controller to add GPS info into your OSD, in your FPV feed. So that's nice. And it has a, uh, well, a connector, it hooks up over here to the flight controller. And we'll see that uh, in the installation video of this stabilizer, how that all goes together. We get a couple of servo leads, small servo leads, presumably to hook up your receiver, I guess, or maybe your FEV camera, and now probably receiver, and that's it. And we've got some sticky tapes and uh, the, the stabilizer itself, of course. So it has a, a lot of connectors over here, as you can see, servo connectors. It also has a USB port to which you can hook up that controller to set it up. 
and let me see there's a status led over here obviously we all see the, what that shows in our installation video but the short of it is that over here you've got your outputs for your servos for the servos of your airplane we got a video in and a video out and what is that for a stabilizer with a video in and a video out well like i said this this stabilizer can add information to your apv feed and for that it uh, well the video feed will have to pass through the stabilizer and therefore there's a video in and a video out so the video in you will hook your apv camera up to and the video out uh, you will hook that up to your VTX, your video transmitter. Then over here we've got inputs, basically. Like I said, the bottom two rows are actually for the GPS. And then we've got uh, the top one is a PPM, then SBUS. And uh, let me see, a air speed indicator. And I don't have that sensor, that's probably an, an add-on. I haven't actually looked into that, but that, that might actually be a fun addition to this stabilizer. Mostly informative for you, and but well, that, that can be added to this, this system. And what you might also wonder is, can I hook up a PWM receiver to this, an old style receiver? And you can't. No, you've got the option of PPM, SBUS, or you, you see over here, DSM spectrum receivers and there's a connector at the top that white little connector over there is for spectrum receivers so that's that's a three options and you you need to take that into account if you order this stabilizer you will need an SBUS PPM or spectrum receiver to make this work so that is basically the stabilizer itself it's a plastic box with inputs and outputs and that's it there's a processor in this and obviously, uh, well, sensors and such, but uh, we'll see how it works in the installation video. What I do want to see is what the, the user interface of this programmer, this setup card is. So I'm going to hook things up. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have the stabilizer over here and the only thing that's connected is the power module the power sensor if you will so that's the only thing connected to the stabilizer at this point now i'll i'll have to power this of course so i have me a 4s lipo even though the system can run up to 6s lipos and i'm going to hook that up to the input port of the power sensor thing and an LED will come on. In this case, I've got a red blinking LED, which probably means, uh, well, I don't see a receiver, what's up? And, well, guess what? There is no receiver connected, so that's, that's okay. What I'm gonna be doing now is hook up that program card. It has, the program card has a, a USB connector at the top. It comes with a USB cable, and I'm gonna hook that up to the bottom of the stabilizer like so and then that controller shows us things so let me zoom into the screen and we can take a look at the menu options here Alrighty, the first option the control board shows us is fly mode which is the flight mode and we've got four buttons i assume that this is enter and this is back or return and this is up and down over here okay enter does that enter me into the flight yeah that enters me into the fly mode and you can select up to three flight modes i assume and we'll get to that uh, in the installation video of course but i assume you set that up on channel five so your channel five will be on a switch on your radio and with that three position switch ideally you can select from three flight modes however those three flight modes can be well whatever you'd want and the first one is off at this point that's default right so the first mode will be unstabilized and there will be no return to home you are only if the the connection is severed for between your radio and the receiver but other than that you will have no stabilization in mode one second one normal whatever that is i assume that's a stabilized flying mode and safe is that with problem well let's actually see what the third what the options are oops 
So enter, and now I can probably cycle through the options. Normal, off, okay, normal, off, save, acro, and that's it. Okay, and that makes sense. There are four flight modes, and the fl four flight modes are acro, which will probably help you in knife edge and, well, acro flying, right? Second one is save. I assume, I very much assume that this is return to home on a switch. Then we've got normal, which again, I assume will be stabilized flying. And then there's off in which mode the stabilizer shouldn't affect the flying at all. That's what I, okay. So, and we've got the button over here is return, return, and we're in the main menu again. Okay, then we've got your gain, roll gain, pitch gain, okay, and roll offset, pitch offset, and mount direction. Okay, so the previous options here, oops, your gain, these will all affect the amount of stabilization the, the system will do. If it overshoots or underperforms, you can change that in these gains. And the roll offset, what should that be? A roll offset should mean that your stabilizer is mounted at an angle. But again, we will see that in the installation video. Then we've got a pitch offset. Yeah, again, that's for in case you've got the stabilizer, this box over here, not mounted in the default position. Mount direction, same thing. Wing type, okay, and is that the last option? Cruise for, no. Okay, so wing type, that's an important step. What types of airplanes does this system uh, support? Okay, I hit enter and normal would probably be a, a default four channel airplanes with a rudder and two ailerons and a, uh, an elevator, obviously. Then we've got, we've got Delta, flying wing, V-tail, okay, a normal plane with a V-tail, and that's it. So from that, we can conclude that this system does not support thrust factoring with two motors. Bit of a shame, but well, I kind of expected that. Then we've got a cruise, oops, return, cruise velocity, and we got a loiter radius. Throttle, what is that? Throttle, enter. Direction, upper limit, lower limit, okay. ESC calibration. And then we've got DSM bind. I don't have a DSM receiver, but presumably with that option, you can bind up your receiver hooked up to the stabilizer. And that is it. That is all the options this system provides. So guys, that was a first look at the Detrum Z3 FPV, a stabilizer with GPS, so positioning and return to home, but it also can include information into your FPV feed via this, uh, this power sensor, amp sensor, voltage sensor. So that's definitely an advantage of this system and not a whole lot of uh, stabilizers provide that. Yes, there are for instance INF setups, much more complicated to set up though. You, you will need to hook those up to your computer and this you can configure with only this, this program guide. So this should be a lot easier to set up and still almost provide you with flight stabilizer capabilities. Minus the, the complicated setup, but also you can't uh, do waypoints with the system obviously. And in the next video on this, uh, this series, I'll be setting up this system in an airplane. So be on the lookout for that. That uh, should be a very detailed guide on how to set it up. If you're interested in the system, uh, go check it out. And if you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.